another noisy night last night as some heavy rain and thunderstorms rolled across the area. This is our rainfall totals in the last 24 hours, so it does include the really heavy rain that came down close to 36 Highway yesterday morning. Still, on top of that, many locations north of I-70 picked up about an inch to two inches, uh, specifically from KCI to Liberty, about three quarters of an inch. The southern suburbs and an area south of I-70, a little less between a quarter to a half inch. Now it's still coming down for locations east of I-35. I'm moving on to the Missouri side now. We've got some heavier thunderstorms closing in near Chillicothe. Uh, steady rain on the south side of town too. We've got some rain in Odessa, moving from Belton to Harrisonville right now, east of Paola, and still pretty steady between Lacine and Pleasanton. Here's that last push of sprinkles in Excelsior Springs with again, a lot more lightning strikes out towards Chillicothe. So this is the last push of of the rain before things will continue to dry out for the morning and early afternoon until this cold front interacts with more heat and humidity. Still questions on how quickly our atmosphere recovers to allow these thunderstorms in the afternoon to fire up, but there's a chance one or two could turn severe, mainly for wind and hail within that window of 3 to 8 p.m. The risk mostly focused for areas on the Missouri side. Let me show you here on your future cast that rains out by 10 a.m. You can see it's already in eastern Missouri. But then here's the front. Not all that impressive on this model. We're not getting a whole lot of lift, which tells us the atmosphere may not be fully recovered to allow that instability to take over. So at 4 p.m., this model's got a little bit of rain. It could intensify, so it really just depends on how our atmosphere is looking. At 5 o'clock, it's right over the city, up through Liberty and Chillicothe. 7 p.m., it's over central Missouri. I think this is the moment where it really starts to blossom, and you can see some really strong storms more towards Columbia and in St. Louis today. Tomorrow we are going to be waking up to more clear skies or sunshine and there there is a hint of a little bit of rain out west. This is 1 p.m. on Friday could scoot across a few of our counties southwest of Kansas City. The good news of that passing cold front dropping humidity today still near the oppressive side, still very, very muggy, but we will notice big improvements through Friday and Saturday for today because it's going to be so humid. 89s are high temp, but it will feel closer to 100 degrees and we could notice that high heat index as early as one o'clock today. Feels great over the weekend though. High temperatures each afternoon at 86 Saturday and Sunday. Even the low 80s show up early next week.